Hi friends and everyone. Uh, this is uh, second part of the video that uh, finally I quit um, life in USA. Yeah. Uh, before I make this video, how to say thanks to Scroll who posted that video and I got a 183k views. And the second thanks is for the Nigerian sister who donated. Uh, $350 to me and one two Indian brothers yes and the next one I don't want to hide anything so that's why I'm making a video irrespective of uh, vendors employers and all requested me to stop making videos and delete it because I'm looking for uh, jobs and uh, career sets right that's one and the next one I left for India because I'm not getting paid so after my American friend called client and client intervened, then American colleague, ex-colleague also reported to the client. That's why I was paid. Otherwise, I would not have paid that four and a half months project. And I quit project because I was not getting paid. And I left everything as it is. You have seen videos, right? I throw everything out. I also left the van. And this is not the first time, 2009, 2010, 2014. Several times I repeated, right? And uh, that's why I'm, I have the guts to speak, so I confront. My advice to America is either you stop H1B or execute H1B abusers, hang them. Why do you allow H1B when and H1B employers, especially Indian folks, are doing crime in USA, where people think that, uh, unfortunately, that law is ultimate in US. That's not the scenario, right? and everyone who is faking resume doing proxy doing crime business or sending threatening messages last few months i called at least one one guy every day either whose h1b is got rejected and returned to india and the other one whose employer has not paid salaries for six months so one recruiter wrote i'm not against anyone uh, Kumar, your technology is this, that, I play so many people on that mm, viral video. I don't remember. Uh, come along with me. I took media houses to several Indian links in uh, Jersey City. They did a record the videos, what kind of uh, they are doing in, their in, uh, in the offices, right? Breaking forgery laws and all, forging the immigration documents. And also, I left because of uh, not being second, I fed up life and uh, third, my mom is not well. So, I thought of pay some money, whatever I get from here. I don't have money and uh, 2017 tax returns that was also snatched by one employer um, as it is. You know, that is why I confront with him and uh, this is what happening. Everybody rape you here uh, for a single dollar. And uh, yeah, I got a job. I also applied jobs in India. After I reached here, uh, one guy, one company from Bangalore asked me to come for in-person interview. But unfortunately or fortunately, by the time I joined here, I got a job. So I got a job call. But I'm not sure how long I stay here because of the short project and H-1B immigration issues. Right? Uh, that's the reason I'm no... Uh, yeah, I got my van back. Uh, I just left as it is, right? When country... Uh, we are cheap workers uh, what is there to hold here even if you buy a 250k 500k house you have to leave when your H1B is denied or you are not getting paid right how do you survive so I thought of uh, start some small business there but by the time I got a job so I come back so not sure how long I stay here. thank you thanks for all the new subscribers please email me kumar exclusive yt at gmail.com thank you